So 65 was directed by Brian Woods and Scott Beck and it stars Adam Driver as this man who crash lands on this planet that's very mysterious, has a bunch of dinosaurs running, roaming around, and based on the trailer, he's actually 65 million years in the past. So now he finds this girl and now they have to get to safety and try to avoid all these dinosaurs. So I remember kind of being intrigued by this movie because you have Adam Driver who he, he's very, he seems very picky about the movies that he does. And I was very intrigued that he was doing a sci-fi movie like this. And this also had Brian Woods and Scott Beck who were the writers of A Quiet Place who were making their directorial debut with this movie. And also Sam Raimi was involved with this movie. How could this movie go wrong? Well, this movie was also pushed back several times. I believe this was supposed to come out sometime last year, but it got pushed back several times and not because of the pandemic. You know, before the pandemic, if a movie got pushed back several times, that means they were trying to hide it or trying to bury it or just just avoiding the box office bomb that it would eventually be. And it's not like this movie is going up against any major competition or anything, unless say, you're talking about John Wick, Scream, Creed, Shazam, although Shazam is bombing, but that's not the point. So I went to 65, kind of being intrigued, but also kind of being nervous. I saw it about a week after the movie came out, and honestly, I was bored. This movie is boring. This movie, hardly anything happens in this movie. And it nothing, I wouldn't say nothing works, but honestly, for the talent involved, it's just really disappointing that this movie is as bad as it is. So is there anything that does work? Well, Adam Driver, he's usually really reliable, and he's decent in the movie. Not his best performance, but at least he's decent. He at least tries. Uh, Ariana Greenblatt, who plays the little girl in the movie, I thought she did a good job. And I also thought they had decent chemistry with each other. Um, what I, I just, it, I was watching it, and I kind of reminded myself of various things, such as, you know, Logan, and, the, and also The Last of Us, and even Mandalorian a bit. It just didn't really work. Uh, the cinematography is at least decent. It looks decently shot, like, though the background is actually well realized, which is, you know, I like looking at the background, but I don't really like looking what's in front. And also, at least it's short. It's only about 93 minutes long. Thank God this movie isn't two hours long. I feel like if it was two hours long, I couldn't stand it, and I would probably give it a much lower grade than it probably would be, would give it. So what doesn't work in this movie? The CGI in this movie is atrocious. Oh my god. The dinosaurs in this movie look awful. And honestly, you barely see any of the dinosaurs. You do see some, but they don't look rendered properly. They don't look that convincing. And, it, and honestly, it kind of like blurs them out when they're in the background a lot. This movie's PG-13. And you can still show dinosaurs. And I'm, well, while I'm, you can still show dinosaurs doing various things. A lot of times they're just hidden. And it just didn't really work for me. And while I was watching, I kind of had this thought. It's been 30 years since the last, since Jurassic Park. And hardly anyone has come close to making a movie as good as that. That was the gold standard of dinosaur movies. And now we have 65. That honestly just looks absolutely atrocious with its visuals. And it's like, how is that even possible? Anyway, the dialogue in this movie. There's hardly any dialogue in this movie. Now, Brian Woods and Scott Beck, they were writers on the on A Quiet Place, so the use of dialogue was very minimal. And that kind of makes sense because you were trying to avoid these creatures who, you know, if you make any sound, they would immediately kill you or anything like that. Here, there's hardly any dialogue in this movie, and I feel like that was not a good idea. It's like, again, kind of the same thing, but... I also kind of just wish that there was at least something that was being said in the scene. It's just a lot of silence. Um, there's this running gag where the little girl says a swear word and it's supposed to be funny. It's not funny. That joke's old. That joke's dated. It's just kind of boring to me. And also, not a whole lot is explained in this movie. Um, you know, you'd think that with the trailer shift saying, oh, we're 65 million years in the past, that there was going to be an actual decent explanation for why this is happening. Now, and also, you would think that there would be a bigger twist in this movie than just the fact that they were 65 million years of the past, right? No. And the pacing of this movie, even though this movie's 90 minutes long, it feels like it takes forever. I was kind of looking at my watch from time to time, and I'm like, just wrap this up, just wrap this up, just wrap this up, and just get it over with. And overall, I would just say this movie is boring. Hardly anything happens. Throughout the movie, I was saying things like this reminds me of something that's even better whether that's Jurassic Park or Logan or Last of Us or even Mandalorian 
this movie just didn't do anything for me. How could you get all these people involved and just give them nothing to do? So even though it looks great from time to time, and Adam Driver and Ariana Greenblatt are good, and also the fact that it is at least 90 minutes long, it's okay. But at the same time, the CGI is terrible. I really didn't like the fact that there wasn't a lot of dialogue. And nothing's really explained. The pacing's off. And I just feel like this movie, this movie just wasn't worth it. It really wasn't. I'll give 65 one out of four stars. Skip it. So, what's your favorite movie involving dinosaurs? Besides Jurassic Park. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. This is Pat. Stay safe.